pedir el modo. Piable o el mail, Google, o el taller del grupo, pero tenía la aclunio de la scholarship, ma hay el grupo benefits de los laya de los estudiantes en la escuela. So the mal merenga sulier adra palau national scholarship board el guk sub il metrologi el alt mal merak el bog lungil tu tau so mal lungil tu tal merak el adro kui ngatay el alt tu tau a mori ma te gai del gestengi mak timo idea mai ken mumsa mori mung mosub el gora start tra a program regi Oh, Marie, oh, okay, okay, go on, man. Oh, yeah, give me more medals, is some clam, and Marie, my Mori, so. All right, the Malungi to Tau, Marie. Sula Chief Randy, Malungi to Tau, Merki the Rogu, more listeners, Samaru Mesatiel Momong, and second PNSP monthly talk show. Our Erapodomu, Lady Bogudersia, Omer and Sound, Maruba Caldio, Selgirel. Ay bodul mabilu, ay ma honorable president surang alwip sa vice president udu, senate president tamarogul senators, ma speaker ra house marogul delegates. So la nga ka magtulungil tutal ng orgo mirogu yung ang kling kamerilang Michael, but you may call me Marie, and I'm the admin specialist of the Sergidra Scholarship. El alto tau ya toxior kita, ngarangnya special guest terkid, el ngarangnya Hamis Morisang Udu, el student network specialist, mar terul special guest, el imo nga this two special guest, one intern recipient, ma imo special guest el mula from Taiwan Embassy. So mo tala tala la toksyor kita el alto tau a a momsate el la mori mungkuk mo smoothy sel palau fellowship award may interview ng gal guest ngi special guest el momrek e kadalukuk momsate gal available scholarships e dili gal mo interview ng gal special guest from Republic of China Taiwan Embassy madik pok ngaula el ngun msa mori Thank you, Marie. Sure, get the analysis. So, ngang kule ka mori. Eh, amal kung focus ra ngarasel office ra kama mga scholarship office is the internship program. Um, that's the reason why I'm here. Madiswa ka lugar di mo share a brief information ng kiret del program. So. A PNSP ng aring yaw na award al under ng insel do mga dorong ikmu sa Palau Fellowship Award. E lahat yung Palau Fellowship Award ng malungil opportunity. E tiyang amor ang algar belau, ang algar school ay kreel belau, tanga algar college ay kreel belau. Either ka senior or ka junior going on your senior year or ka recent grad, e or ka si Emil ng tagi dal award. Si Emil apply ang ng tal award. So ang algar receiver tal award. Ah, sabi ito ang PNSP haraw at tiga terti ng merbelaw, ito real eight weeks, al sel sel eight weeks, sagi haraw at stipend ra ngalag al four hundred dollars every two weeks, and then after sagi dal eight weeks, asuko mga lagi ng continuing student, ang PNSP dira al haraw at tiga terti ng multo mo sel balu wala ng school ng i, mung sabi elgo mo mergo sel degree ng i. Di suku mangal kami le apply a recent graduate. E ko lang gira mal di di one way tiga teringin merbela. Le segi dawal mokter artial program argit. Ngwa da dolas mal mga susel encourage ra ngalikel bela o matubo mer kalunga ra school ra ikel bela we may e ko help artial bulwat. May lang ngayon nga tool opportunities or tagi the Palau Fellowship Award. You can either do your internship ra apply for summer or spring. So right now, I accept the applications for the summer internship, summer 2024. So the line or tagi the summer internship by April 1st. Hindi mo din ila 
one week basically yeah. next week and then the following monday segi then get the submit the applications so segi that the line mak pertio maklat masuru mang komoreng se onda se kom eligible apply now or so mga nya nga ligi mamda se te eligible tangara junior junior year tier mo a senior or the senior or tam a graduate encourage your tier apply mo ruk la se ba save money on the air for ngot tam ring ala la ticket tam mer belaw oh i see yeah so encourage uh, your kids or if you're a student apply for this program so you can get a free ticket back home gain experience during the summer be productive and earn some money at the end of the internship in wablam earn a, a total of a thousand six hundred dollars so which is pretty good so the amal kora a clun yo le tiagi del program ma el al time el la most be able to access through internet ma el the message e email yeah so segit segit kam le e wona gel highlights se gel last del interview Teman ne melulu asing, teman appreciate tiada communication lawan kita mori lagi seperti di ngara Facebook, malu tengah ngara klele email, ta ta messenger kau, and then kau mada tu kita lah how do they get the into the internship program? So. Right, teman lah mabia ta way of communication, masuk mukam somil apply aku la hesitate or ngarang aku la doubt seramiu. Mada kam hesitate email nga kan sabi ili email nga kasel pnsp internship at gmail dot com and then mas e kan gusto kami with the application form e or otherwise kami yung requirements and then we'll help each other to get your application done and submitted by April first. Mada kang ay nata e masumong komoring sa sumil apply please do so. And then, so there's the summer, and then ngayon yung sige the ruk spring internship. Siya mula the deadline nang yung November first, so mula mamra ka the deadline nang same. And we actually we're kind of wrapping up on the spring internship right now. And dim le three are intern nang ilal spring around, so mula nang yah Violet Fernando. Komeng tim letteri, mula giri dalam media radio talk show analysis, but unfortunately, tim lagas ilmu rokui, tim lewan, nanti di suara kal tim mo, awak isi isir tiri dal terung tim lagal me. So ngel wan awa let Fernando, ngel ya, am lew intern ra koror state, edim lomre ke by taharengir adra officer president, so she's working under the office of the president. Shout out to her and we wish her well. Eh, dira kalangan ng ingle France Intermetet, ng mga intern na ng mga Division of Human Services under hospital, ng mga member ka internship period ng mga mga kung timing iraba bilang ng tamo hiring ng mga permanent employee, ting unfortunately ng due to personal reasons ng mga tasa ng mga elasis. Oh, okay. Hindi ka tama lang alit ng at ng mga ng at least ng one ng intern ng mga al. Yay! Gusto ba ng mga ng mga the lucky intern. Eh, ang kanga di mo dada tuko lang abar the oh oh. Pwede pa ka I'll give her the mic so she can go ahead and introduce herself a little bit to get us started. All right, awesome. Yes. Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Charlene Patrice. Uh, I came, I was born in Saipan, but my family's from Tobi. Uh, I came here to Palau for uh, Core Elementary School for a bit, and then I finished my high school in Mazenti. Uh, for and then when I went to university, I went to the University of Guam and I studied psychology. Oh wow, that's awesome! So uh, from there, then that uh, uh, sort of how did you find out about this internship program and? Uh, it was mainly because it was advertised to me in high school. Uh, they were really recommending that uh, we uh, participate uh, as part of uh, the scholarship for taking PNSB and then uh, just uh, being able to uh, get our school paid off uh, was enough to be uh, like being here to work for the experience of yeah. what we learned uh, instead of having to pay off everything uh, sounded pretty promising. Wow. So it. Yeah, that's how I was able to uh, join the the internship uh, after college. And um, obviously, because you don't speak Palauan, yeah. um, <laughs> obviously you live mostly outside of Palau. Yeah. In Saipan. 
Uh, yeah, I was mostly in Saipan, and then I went to Philippines for a bit, and then I got here for the rest of my high school, and then I went to Guam, and then I came back. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, okay, that's about. cool. Okay, so um, where do you work, and and how do you how is how was it coming back to Palau, and you know this whole experience? How was the whole experience? Oh, I work at the. Uh, same place as Francine, who's not here today, but uh, at the divisions of human services, I work as like a social work intern under them. Uh, currently, under the, like, I work with like the community support unit, so I'm like helping with like the community. In this, uh, in this, where did you say social security? Oh, uh, sorry, it's community support unit. Community uh, support unit. Yeah. Uh, in ministry work. of. In ministry of health. Health and, and human, human services. services. Yeah. Oh, I see. Like a social. Uh, social worker. Yes, uh, social work intern so far. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. So, how's the work? How is it like? Or what do you do? What's your actual role? It's been, it's very different from my college experience. It's uh, having to be a little bit more on the field, kind of. Or I wasn't really on the field. Right now, I'm like having to understand how things are working here because it's. Like Palau is very different from yeah. everything I studied in Guam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so, good. Yeah, so yeah. like you're get you're getting to learn about Palau yeah. and the things that you didn't know about Palau. All right, that's awesome, and I think that's really the purpose of the internship program is you really want to get even Palauan. Uh, uh, students that are outside of Palau who've never been to Palau to come into Palau and to really work in Palau. So, I mean, I know you've been in and out of Palau, but it's good for you because you also get to learn the things that you didn't know about Palau. Yeah. Yeah. Like the gossip. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> but also, like, you know, in, in uh, your social work, you know, you, you get to work with the Ministry of Health and uh, what are some awesome things that you've learned in the past or the whole time that you've been working? Uh, well, f I guess the things that I've learned, especially for, it's just, I don't know, it's just the fact, that, the way that the system works by itself, because throughout my college experience, I only know like the general, like hypothetical of like what to do with uh, working with people. Yeah. But then um, now I'm working with having to like, not just understanding people by themselves, because, you know, psychology major, but it's also because I'm trying to understand how, uh, how I could help people like not directly, like through uh, directing them to see uh, resources that could help them like even better than I could, or uh, having to like ref like you know like pretty much like helping people uh, be able to find better uh, things in Palau that's available for them. Yeah, uh, I wasn't really that focused on uh, that kind of field of work when I was uh, in my university but now i have to actually like learn the system to be able to help right. people a lot more effectively yeah, yeah. like it's, it's a more <laughs> detailed yeah. uh part of your study basically it's like a bigger picture kind of yeah uh, thing yeah so psychology so uh how does that play into your social work oh i it's like integrating like both of them because in a way uh when it comes to because social work is meant to help uh people get up at their feet uh, but then, like, for psychology, it's able to do that in a lot more depth because uh, you're able to try to understand them first. Uh, and to integrate that with social work is, like, the application aspect of it. So it's, like, a combination of, like, what I could learn from uh, having to work with people and how I can learn to understand them a lot better with the field that I worked with. And so it, it's it's a lot more effective, I'd say, right. uh, for what I've uh, been working. Yeah. Towards. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so who do you work with? Like, how's the environment uh, in your workplace, and what type of people have you met, and who have you met? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, um, my main supervisor at my workplace right now is uh, Ripka Kantaro. Oh, Ripka! And yeah. yeah. And but I'm mainly shadowing or uh, over, and my mentor is uh, James Romengasau. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm not just working with them, but I'm also working with because I said that I was under the community support unit. Yeah. But uh, for the divisions of human services, there's like three other units, and I'm helping them too. So there's like the family services unit, the aging unit, and the disability unit. And I'm working very closely with uh, those units uh, as a part of the community support unit. 
And they've been very friendly people. I've, I'm very uh, happy that like, they, they were able to welcome me as they did, especially as someone that doesn't really know Palauan and is like, <laughs> just is trying to get accustomed to the culture and everything first while also trying to uh, get into the social work aspect of working on field compared to just doing my education. Yeah. So yeah, it's a very, it's, uh, it's a very different experience than what yeah. I expected. <laughs> There's this sort of feeling when I go out to go to school somewhere else that I feel like, you know, I'm at, I, I need to go back to Palau and, you know, do something. And you're like literally coming back to Palau, going into the community and really kind of working with like, you know, social work. That's that's really important work for the community and for the nation. So is there a sense of like feeling like, you, you feel like you're coming back to sort of help out? Do you feel like you're connecting to your roots? Yeah, there's a very, that, that is a pretty accurate way to put it, yeah. Uh, there is a very strong sense of uh, being able to contribute very well to uh, when I came back. And it's just, the system's just very, uh, it's just completely different from what, it, what I knew from uh, my time in Guam because it's just, there's just a lot that I really want to like help work with for the people of Palau and having to understand them. And also, in a way, I'm also understanding my family about a lot better yeah. uh, by being here again. Yeah. So it's just, it's, it's very, it's a very enriching experience uh, having to come back and actually contribute this time rather than having to study to contribute. <laughs> right. Like, I, I, I mean, you know, just how you're, coming back and working with the community like you know i i feel like that, that despite not speaking Palawan, but like th i feel like that really will connect you deeply to your Palawan culture regardless you know what i mean yeah. like <laughs> and then eventually you have to learn the language <laughs> you have to learn how yeah. to speak it but i think like that's amazing for you to come back and you know do that but also get into community work and and really help out in that so what would be um, your advice to other students that are sort of, they're Palawan, they're, they're taking the scholarship, but they're kind of contemplating on doing the internship program? Uh, my advice, I guess it's to, um, well, of course, like take their time and their studies as much as they need to. Like they don't have to immediately rush to being here because it's, it's kind of nice to be here with as much knowledge as possible to help as much people as possible yeah especially with the help of pnsb and all but then when they do come back it is a lot more rewarding than they're expecting it to be because it is probably very intimidating to go out there and then to come back home and then having to be worried that uh everything is like too different or it's like it's uh pretty much a lot more offset than uh how they would expect it to be if uh how it is when they are in the university that they're yeah, from. Yeah. yeah. So my advice is to just take your time as much as you can. And if you come back, then uh, also like work very closely with the Palauans because I think they would very much benefit greatly from having the community be helped uh, by everything from the outside. Wow. So, yeah. That's awesome. All right. So uh, lastly, um, we were talking a little bit about how uh, the students that have been part of the internship uh, had such sort of ease in communicating with the scholarship board, especially with Maury. So how has that been for you, like, in terms of finding information about the, the internship program and all that stuff? How do you communicate with Maury, and how has that been working for you? Oh, uh, at first I was very intimidated about having to communicate with uh, the scholarship by itself, but uh, it was very helpful to find out that they're very um, open to help with absolutely anything, uh, especially when it comes to email, emailing them or having to contact with them closely about uh, what, like if you want to further your education or want to do anything else with the internship. Mm. They're very helpful. They, they're very flexible with uh, what you need to do. And it's, I'm very appreciative of that, of especially having to communicate a lot with Maury over how I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's good, yeah. And, and I think that's important. That's really the biggest part of this is really how do you uh, find access to these things and is it easy? You know, I think that's what P 
people kind of, or that's what intimidates people is like, yeah. I might not know how to communicate, but also how to fill up papers, how to do all that stuff. But I think those were helped by the people that are working there. So you're not, you don't feel like, you know, you don't have any assistance. Yeah. Like there's always somebody there to help. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you for you. your work. And, and what are your plans after your internship? Are you going to come back to Palau and, and work? Are you like going to... I'm still, I'm still deciding right now. It's pretty early on in my internship. Okay. Yeah. There, a lot of people are presenting me opportunities about what to do after. Wow. So, uh, it's, no, it's not that big. <laughs> I'm also mean that like, there's a lot. I, I just... It is big. Yeah. It is a big deal. And I'm going to tell you because it, you know, we need a lot of people to come into Palau and yeah. help Palau. And I feel like we get a lot of comments outside and they're intimidated to come to Palau because yeah. they don't feel that it's possible to live in Palau and to survive in Palau. Yeah. But you are a prime example of it is working and it can happen. So yeah. I think, you know, it is a big deal that you're being presented those great opportunities because a lot of people think maybe there won't be jobs for me. Yeah. You know, so what would you say about that? Oh, that being... Uh, able to participate in the internship, I think it helps a lot to find, at least, uh, it's a, it's better for the experience because especially with having to worry about how uh, what kind of job anybody needs, it's this really helps especially because it's you're able to communicate people with what you uh, particularly want in, in the internship, and even if the internship doesn't work out, then you can be able to you're still out there for other people to, to see you. Yeah, that means that you're given a lot more opportunity to be like exposure, of course. Yeah, for so you're you have a better chance at having security for a job uh, working under PNSB mm. than having to go without. You know? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Thank you so much, and I really wish you uh, good luck in uh, the future, and I hope that you do find opportunity to come back to Palau and work in Palau. All Thank right? You. With that said, I think we have another guest. Okay, Malwai say, introduce once again, Sula Randi, thank you, thank you, Charlene, for the wonderful sharing experience and advice and my students. El as el gupo dami sa next part ta talk siyorgi diak mo introduce sa ngagi dal. I'm gonna introduce our special guest uh, from the Embassy of Taiwan, from the uh, Republic of China, Taiwan Embassy here in Palau. So, let's give him the mic and a chance for him to introduce himself and what's his position and his story at the embassy. Uh, hello everyone on the EPFM. My name is Harvey Lo. I'm the third secretary from Thai Embassy. And my duty in the embassy is I'm mostly I'm in charge of the education, including the scholarship affairs and also the economic like trade investment promotion from Taiwan to Palau here, and also the media affairs. Thank you for introducing me. Thank you for having me. So we also want to share that uh, the 2024 MOFA Taiwan Scholarship is now open to apply. And we've been advertising it on the uh, social media. And it's due tomorrow. So that's why we wanted to bring our special guest, Goramo, uh, share some experiences. And uh, promote the advertiser interested students to apply for the scholarship which is due tomorrow all right so uh, uh, Harvey um, what you uni what university did you graduate from and when and what was your major and were you always sure of what you wanted to major in okay. thank you Marie um, I'm really glad that I have the chance to share my life experiences to Palawan students. I think it's really important for students right now at this stage to hear some story, life story, and think about what they want to go. Because I, 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 I can, I think I feel the same. I got the same feeling when I was in senior high school, especially right now. It's like I just graduated from university for like four years, so it's not really far away. The memory is still in my mind. 
So I graduated from the National Univers University of Kaohsiung in 2019. It's a, it's a university in the southern oh, Taiwan. In the south. Yeah, it's also a new university. It's not a large one. You only have 3,000 students there. Most of our department are new and special. Like my um, degree is two bachelor degrees, one in Vietnamese and another is Asia Pacific Industrial and Business Management. Wow. So it's like something like not really traditional. But you know, I before before I joined the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, I always believed that I can control everything in my life according to my plan. But you know, life always has another plan. It's not always do what you want right so um when i was in senior high school just before i was thinking I, i'm going to the low school but just right before the exam i was like someday i just like really i don't know what i'm going to do because i look into the in the situation that back to that time it doesn't seem logical or make sense to to just join the low school and plus i I just don't, suddenly I just don't know what to do. So I got a chance, I really luckily got a chance. My a Vietnamese friend just studying PhD in Taiwan and he invited me to Vietnam right after the uh, university examination and stayed at his home for around two weeks. And during the visit, I just discovered that many Taiwanese companies were vis investing in Vietnam, but there were just a few graduates with relevant expertise so that's what why i decided to learn vietnamese but you know the journey doesn't end as a freshman i tried to audit it in different classes i just kind of like curious and i found i'm interested in business management department so i feel confident and i feel i can excel the all the things that they, they teach in there so I applied to join the program officially in the second semester. And there's where my <laughs> second bachelor degree comes from. Cool. So yeah. you have two bachelors. Yeah, I have two bachelor degrees. Nice. But, you know, after I graduated from the university, I realized I just, you know, life always twisted. <laughs> after I graduated from the university, I found maybe I can do something more meaningful than just go aboard and make money in Vietnam. So then that's why I began to prepare for the examination for apply for the position in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But story doesn't end there. The prince and princess doesn't live happily ever after. <laughs> you know, so contrary to my expert expectation, or everyone's expectation in, in charge of Vietnamese affairs and policy to Vietnam, I'm actually, I was responsible for trade investment promotion and the international cooperation, which is the TTM whole around the world <laughs> in our diplomat allies, but just expect it, expect Vietnam. <laughs> and then I, I, after that, I even decided to post it to Palau after a very beautiful trip last May. So in other words, I never touched any Vietnamese job since I joined MOFA. So the story I just want to share is that, you, you know, when you were in college, in senior college, uh, college, senior high school stage, you never know what will happen in your life. You never know. And, but I think all the efforts you put, it was in vain. All the paths you walk through won't be useless. It, it just will come back to you in some unexpected way. And so... So your advice to the high school seniors? Yeah, I just think for, for me to advise to the high school seniors, it is okay for you not, don't know what to do, to, do to major. In, in this, yeah, to major this right now. But the most important thing is just stay curious, open your mind and find all the resources, try to get all the resources that you can to explore and also, I think, pay more attention to the future trend. Because, you know, in the end, you have to go to the society. You have to find a job. So right. if you don't know what you like, maybe just think about what will happen in the future and 
think what I would like to do in the future, and that might helps you to find a way to to your college. And plus, you know, my life experiences right now, compared to my I see many my classmates, I think making a good choice is m- as important as working hard. So just not to be so rushed to yourself to decide to join. Any department major, as you just fo- blindly follow your your friends or your parents' expectation, try to look in here in your heart, look in your heart, what you want. What you really want to. What you really want to do. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so thank you. So, how long have you been working at the embassy? Uh, I. Just worked in here since last May, so it's right around five months. But I worked almost for almost one year.、Mm, yeah, and but for Minister of Foreign Affairs, I have been working there for around three years. Oh, yeah. So since you've been working there, do you do you recommend the Mofa Scholarship to Palawan students? And if you do so, why would you recommend? Okay. So when I was in、um, Taipei, the headquarter, I actually responsible for the scholarship program. So Mova Scholarship has a very sp- compared to the ICDF scholarship, the biggest difference is it provides you the choice, the freedom to choose whatever department, whatever the school you want to go, and it also provides you enough、um, support. To pay your tuition, your life expenses, it just yeah housing. It just in pay in different ways compared to the ICDF. I'm I can very confident to tell you or should share you that the budget for the ICDF and the Mofa scholarship is the same. It just give you in the different ways. But、um, for the Mofa scholarship, I think this year is very special. Is you can have a choice to. Directly to join the university a, university with the English program, or, or you, you study Mandarin. study Mandarin in the in language、uh, center to give yourself one year to think about what you want, and you know during that one year is not limited like you can just study in the language center because every language center is in the university, so you can have a choice to audit in different program different department to find to out to find out what we. You really want a major, exactly.、Right? Oh, so that's good. But do you recommend the student, especially the Palawan students who apply and get selected? Do you recommend them to learn Mandarin, or it's okay? They'll still find their way around. Well, for me, is that I would recommend them if you have time and you are interested in. I would definitely recommend you to learn Mandarin. Because first is. Since you're studying abroad, I I just share my my life experience. I learn Vietnamese, you know, so I wow, have the experience. Wow, so you can speak Vietnamese. Yeah, and I also exchanged to Vietnam for、Ooh. for one year. So, you know, for for you to to stay in one country and using English is one thing, but staying living in one country and learn their language, speak their language, you will get something more, something different, something more. Yes. Expi- you know, inspire your life. So I think it's very, it's highly recommended. You choose one year's Mandarin course, try and you know just like what I say, it is normal for you、yeah. not to know what you really want. So give yourself a time, a, like a gap year, a meaningful gap year, to find what you want to what do. What your true passion is. Exactly, not just rush into, but. If you really want already know what you're going to, and there's a English program, then we also welcome you to to apply for that. Okay. Yeah. So so if you're studying in Taiwan and encounter a problem with your studies,、um, is there any help available? Yeah. If、uh, you mean when they got some study pr- difficulties or something, right? Yeah. You know most of the The Taiwanese university they provide varieties of ways to help you when you counter some problems. So, like, firstly, you can ask your lecturer, professor, or 
class advisor for help immediately after the class. Most of the lectures are usually willing to answer your question if you are really want keen and politely ask them about what you, what's your question about, what's your problem, and they are they are okay to explain, give you more explanation. And besides that, most of the required class, which is the the most important class, they will assign a senior senior students to assist you to tutor. Yeah, to tutor you. So. It's, you can always ask them to, to about your question. So there are many ways to get help. Yeah, be, among beside this, you can also seek for help for you know the department office and the office of the international affairs. They can help you to find more resources, like help you to find a language exchange partner if you are not good at Mandarin, or you know arrange you to have advanced Mandarin courses if you need that help. Or recommend you some classes for helping you to get more basic knowledge. Okay. So overall, would you say Taiwan is the best place to study? Most of the Palawan students say Taiwan is really convenient. Yeah, I would. I would definitely recommend this. You know, um, I just want to share one interesting knowledge. Um, public school and Private school in Taiwan is different idea compared to the states, because you know most of the best school in Taiwan are public school, so you can enjoy the better teacher, best resources from the government, and the best part is low tuition fee. So right. the minimum tuition fee in town, like when I was in high school, just eight hundred dollars each oh. each semester. So you can tell you can it's affordable, more affordable compared to other university in the world. But the quality is the same, and plus if you have the the got the scholarship, you 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 can just literally live in Taiwan for five years for free. <laughs> So that's why I highly recommend students to study in in Taiwan. All right. Thank you so much, Harvey, for sharing this wonderful information about the Mofa Scholarship. Eh, like I said, listeners, our parents, the Lorings, malungil teal teal Mofa Scholarship ng mga Taiwan ang malful scholarship. Mang direct kalmal teli rangal kal apply til especially til gaya kita seniors and mo graduate til al summer, ada the lain nak kluuk, and I'm sure ah most tertira ah well informed that you know our generation sere al time of all tinggal social media, ya kita all post tera Facebook, so I'm sure kita mal to rangal kal already know about the Mofa scholarship, yang the lain nak kluuk kal five. So, tiga lagi orang interested, malah si ulti mesta pada office, eh korang mak aplikasi atau kau mesti email. Nih dek kal hal itu announce aje kal ngangin sekolah civil available at all time. So, ngangin sel mufat, kaya kita mufat Taiwan scholarship, dia mula undergrad, mula graduate programs, el deadline nak kluuk. Mang siul email or kung di ko lor office si ekadam mo kaot ngi si kung may mga application. Di na kung ngarangi si el koi ka Korean scholarship el mortrigel sorry mo pursue a master certificate ra kagrow si el trang tngi la swab la eh di na lai ngarangi a mart a di na kag kluuk eh kaya di na kag giblam advertise ngi ra Facebook matal ang ngarang ko ram lamo ngi di tiang adi online application so if you're interested eh more adal more online eh apply tiang more trigger sorry more master sa mga PhD eh di lekal ngarangi sel palau fellowship award or more summer sa sel internship program sa kung deadline na April first so lang mo ba sa ngarangi ngarangi lagi ulo kora junior or senior agalit sa trigger kora mula mula graduate Sil apply segi, dia kuk save arah la tiket, ya PNSP ya fundra, a tiket terkamil kuk merveila, we Oriol gain experience terkamil, eh kau elmu telmoras school, orang kau mula graduate, mukamil mula. 
And also, I'm really happy to announce, uh, along with Ministry of State, taluasi nga rin isil di legal scholarship al mura Madrid, Spain. Ang guk nga rin at tiyaliw si yul apply, e mo mas kuli ura, abal ura sa bangyol. Ti amor ti legal sonil mo malala master sati in diplomacy and international relations. Ya detalay na ti nga April 10 e direct kal nga ra, the online application only. Eh, gaya'y 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 full scholarship pal nga rin gaya'y gaya'y time pal deadline na gaya'y gaya'y manda man next month and then gaya'y 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 mo yaw rest of the PNSP programs gaya'y 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 general programs na obviously gaya'y gaya'y scholarship ah, wap palaw grant, palaw student loan ma palaw scholarship may gaya'y 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 state state, local state scholarships A the other line, July 31st, the law machine del mortirial, el ngalgal mar uvetar adel soril mo, so is for a school, el almeil, el almeil, el fall. Ma the other line, reike, at July 31st. So, maldim lege ki, de katakora maara wala mga lila toksyo rekis, ma, maldi iswa kal mug tal mug tal teal, e ore nga, so wala la chief randi, ma management, ma, a staff for teal, eco paradise, eh, Ngayon yung lalaw 87.9 E direct kal I wanna give Give thanks again to our two Special guests Charlene, intern recipient And Mr. Harvey from The Republic of China, Taiwan Embassy Mamori E direct kal Kung mal masulang our listeners E Mga mga simulan ko Ngal lower el mo Tal mal di mawari ang asa Uli Orang itu terlalu bakal dia senang bakal tengah terlebih dulu. Kui eh di bawah dulu terlalu sing arsel kuk next sel program mereka dah next month. Alright, mata man sulang man saular adalah pelaut national scholarship boy. Dulu kuk mula old seven. Terlebih information. So again, man saular pelaut national scholarship boy. And thank you for listening to EPFM Eco Paradise. 